welcome back to this second video of OBS this is where we ended our first video so now let us see how we can start recording on the OBS so whenever you want to start any recording don't forget to click on this start recording button so as soon as you click on the start recording button then your recording would start and you can see on my screen that I have a pause button but this pause button won't be there on your screen. It is appearing on my screen because I have changed the settings. So let us see how you can also have this pause button on your screen. For that, I will have to stop the recording because I cannot change the settings until and unless the recording is going on. So let me st stop the recording for the time being so that I can show you how you can also have the pause button. For that, go to file go to settings go to output in the output in the output mode you must have this simple uh, uh, as the default so change it to advanced when you change the output mode to advanced you have four options streaming recording audio and replay buffer click on recording and in the recording in this encoder you would be having this use stream encoder by default and this stream encoder is used when you are going to stream live on the YouTube and a warning has been mentioned here that recordings cannot be paused if this is the default so I have to change it I will change it to the newest version and this box would open where you can also change this by trait because if your net connectivity is not that high you can change that also I didn't I don't need to change it because my net connection is quite fine and I'll click on ok now when you click on start recording on your screens also this pause button would be there so you can pause wherever you feel that you need a break you need to think about something else or you need to arrange the material you can simply click on this pause button and when you want to resume it you can again click this pause button and your recording would start now let us go to the introduction of a new scene if you want to introduce a new scene click on this plus sign and this box would open which asks you to give a name to the scene let me have face recording because that is what I'll show you now so you can see that in the second scene it is blank so I will add the source and let me have video capture device. It is just like a webcam. So my face is here as you can see and you can drag it anywhere. You can enlarge it. Right. So we can do anything with this. I will simply bring it down so that I can insert few more things. Now let us go to plus sign again and let me introduce a PPT. But for PPT, you have to remember one thing that this is one drawback of OBS that the PPT or the PPTX cannot be simply imported to OBS. You need to change it to the image format first. So what I'll do is I will click on the image slideshow. I'll click on OK. I will scroll down and I will click on this plus sign. I will click on add files and I will select all these images that we want to have. So if I want to have all these images and if you want to delete, you can just click select that particular slide and you can click on this minus sign. Click on OK. So these are the slides which are there. Right. And the slides are here. So what I can do is. I can drag it because the because it is taking over my face so I can make it small so that my face is also appearing and these slides are also appearing so I can adjust it like this right now what we'll see is that these slides here are moving automatically I am not using any cursor or anything but the slides are moving automatically because that is the default setting but if you want to have control over that what we'll do is we will right click and we will go to properties in the properties we have to click on this slide mode 
when I click on slide mode, I have to change it to manual and I click on OK. Now, when I click on manual, it means that now the slides won't be moving on its own. I have to provide certain keys so that the OBS understands which key would be used to move to the next slide. For that, go to file, click on settings and go to this hotkeys. In the hotkeys, we don't need these right now. We'll just go down to the image slideshow. And in the next slide, I will just press the right arrow key on my keyboard. And in the previous slide, I will just click the left arrow key. You don't have to write anything. Just press these keys. You can also use other keys. But generally, we use these keys for the next and the previous uh, slides. I'll click on OK. Now I can use these slides to move my slides. So you can use these things and you can also scroll between the scenes. So this is how you can use various sources and you can make it interactive. You can stream it live on the YouTube. You can uh, make something interactive video with your students. You can save all this by making multiple scenes and make your flipped classroom a very interactive session. So when you want to stop it, just go to stop recording and all your recordings would be saved under the show recordings. I hope you enjoyed this particular session. We'll meet in the next and the last video to learn how to stream it live on the YouTube. Thank you so much.